Welcome back to the channel guys. I'm Josue from Josue's Exotics and if you guys don't know I make videos about my reptiles and amphibians and how to take care of them. But this video is going to be a little bit different today. So today we're going to be getting into some rodent breeding and rat breeding and I'll show you guys what I got going on and we're going to do a basic setup for some of my rodents since I got to do some cleaning today. I figure I'd give you guys another video. And if you see anything that can be improved, make sure you guys tell me down in the comments of how I can better my rotor breeding setups and different things like that. All right, so pretty much it's gonna be like your basic setup here. Uh, this is gonna be the old bedding, so I'm gonna take all this stuff out of here, and we're gonna take it out, and I'm gonna show you guys some stuff that you can use to actually clean this out real good with, and thing that's recommended by a lot of people in the reptile community. So give me one second, we'll be back in. All right, cool, so we got everything cleaned out at least with the bedding and stuff like that, just a little bit here and there. So there's a cleaning solution and a disinfectant that's pretty much, it's called this stuff here. Chlorohexidine solution. So with this chlorohexidine solution, it's animal safe and it's a disinfectant cleaner that you can use to sanitize pretty much all your reptiles, amphibians, rodents, or whatever you use for. It's real good stuff. But yeah, I'll put a link for that stuff down in the description. You guys want to check that out. You can also find that tractor supply. So pretty much got my spray bottle here. I uh, got it already filled up. Some of that stuff, that's pretty much that one gallon goes a pretty long way. It's concentrated chlorhexidine, so you have to dilute this stuff pretty good. And I just pretty much spray the whole enclosure down. This is usual routine with me because I'm, I'm a very clean person when it comes to at least keeping my animals and stuff. So get in here, clean these guys out real good. And we'll get ready to put our mice back in. I always keep like paper towels and stuff handy. That tends to come in a real big necessity when you're cleaning reptile enclosures and stuff. Because at least you can, instead of using like a towel, you can at least throw these away. And I feel like that's a whole lot cleaner than using towels. Yeah, we'll come back to this in just a second. And we'll keep going with the video. So next up, I like to use aspen bedding pretty much with all my rodents and stuff like that. I would recommend getting you some of this stuff. This is a smaller bag of it. You guys want to see what I use? Natural aspen. Uh, I think this is a So Fresh brand from Petco. Yeah, I'll put a link in the description uh, so that way you guys can go pick some of this stuff up if you're considering breeding your own rat. When you first get this stuff, it's kind of compacted in here because it kind of fills out to be a lot after a while, but it's kind of hard to get out of the bag at first. But sure enough, it all start coming out eventually. All right, cool. So the next thing we got to do is we got to get these guys some hides in here. Uh, I just pretty much use things that I have like around the house. These are old like Chinese food bowls. Uh, so I just cut holes in these and we use those as hides. It's pretty simple. I like to keep things pretty simple when it comes to a lot of this stuff. So that way you're not really having to go out your way to find things because not all the time money is relatively available for everybody. But yeah, I love cheap alternatives to buying like expensive things, especially something simple like this because I just breed these mice for my reptiles and things. So those work out pretty good for a lot of the ones as you'll see of the other setups I got going on. But yeah, next up, I like to include one of these guys. It's a silent spinning wheel. Uh, you can find these pretty much on Amazon and go to Petco, get some. But I'll definitely put some links down in the description for those as well so that way you guys can pick some of those up. And last but not least, we gotta put a food bowl in here. And we'll fill that up with food in a little while and get them nice and fed. So we got that done. And another thing that I like to do 
is I have a sprayer here that I use to spray down my reptiles and I like to give this a good little misting. Nothing to really get it damp or anything but just to help keep the dust down because this stuff does produce a little bit of dust so it wouldn't hurt. I also like to include some like cardboard tubes. You see these guys already kind of chewed with this one a little bit, but they like having these just to kind of run around and run through. Give them some extra fun activities to do. And last but not least for our pretty much our basic setup for these guys, I like to include some hay in here. I just throw some in there as well. And give them some of that. They normally can eat that like it's fiber. They use it for nesting and different things like that. So that's real good to include this in there. The rats move it around, do whatever they want to do with it. So you just kind of let them do what they will with it. So yeah, this pretty much is our basic setup. We also have a water bottle here. Uh, it's one of the ones that you have to lick. That way they can get to their water. And what I've done with that is I've pretty much, I've drilled a little small hole here on the side. I've got some zip ties here for the clamp to hold it in place and the water bottle slides right in. Boom, they can get to it pretty easy. But I gotta fill this up with water before I put that back in there and we'll give them some food. But I'll go ahead and introduce you to the rats and the rat pups that go in this little container here. And if you're wondering why I'm using containers instead of tubs or anything for my rats, I, I, these are more readily available to me than trying to build a whole rat rack. So it's just easier. So that's one of the moms. This is Papa Mouse here. He's a little black and white spotted mouse. I guess I could get him for you. Let you guys get a good little looky at him. He's a super cool little guy. I like having him here. He actually lets me kind of pet him a little bit. He's a real cute little mouse. This one's I'm not feeding. I'm just, this is just one of the colonies I got going. We've got another Prego mom. So here we got one of the little rat pups. You see he's super small. Uh, he's gonna be going in the grow out bin soon. They're about two or three weeks, about two weeks old, I think. And generally you wanna get ready to start to weeding them whenever they get about that age. Next up, we got a little brown pup that goes in here with them. Another little white one goes in there, well, albino. Another albino. And one more albino. So pretty much these guys are gonna stay in this tub about another week or so with the moms so that way they can finish nursing and I can get them on solid food um, but yeah that's pretty much it for our little setup we got going on here I think it looks pretty good for your basic rat setup and they enjoy it pretty well and we might be able to get somebody to spin on the old wheel here Well, I'm gonna show you my other setup that I got going on with the rats, so that way you can see what those actually look like. Those guys are a whole lot bigger compared to the mice we got going here. All right, so for the rats, I use pretty much kind of the same setup. We got our general substrate, the aspen bed in here.
All right, so first things first, as we did with the other setup uh, with the rats, I use same kind of hides. I just cut some little bit bigger holes in them. Uh, Cause I normally only keep, when this size tub, I like to keep maybe three females, one male, maybe two females, one male, depending on size and all. So I do that. So next up, I always like to include one of these things inside of my rat breeding setups. Uh, you seen one of these with the mice earlier, uh, just a whole lot smaller. Obviously I had to get a bigger one because rats are way bigger. So this is the one I use for them. It's a giant spinning wheel. They can just run, do exercise on it. Uh, the next thing we have is a food bowl, which is right here. Uh, I had to get a little bit larger one because like I said, rats are bigger. So obviously they require a little bit more food. I'm still using my chlorhexidine solution. And I'm gonna wipe this out real quick for these guys so they can have a clean food bowl. Uh, I believe in putting the food bowls inside of there with them instead of having like the overhead set up so they can eat out of and keep it clean. Uh, give these guys uh, a little bit more food than they can eat for a day in here and I uh, clean this stuff out and give them fresh food daily. I like doing that a whole lot more than just having it stuff to sit there falling into their bed and then making that mess too as well. So I pick through the bedding and stuff and try to keep it fresh because I change this stuff out pretty much just weekly. Last but not least, we have this right here. We want to add a little bit of hay over here on this side of the enclosure. And we'll pretty much finish that off and we'll put our mice back in here. And for the last thing for this setup, uh, we got to have a water bowl. This one's a whole lot bigger because rats obviously drink a lot more water. So I use pretty much this one right here for all my other bigger setups. So I'll have a link for these down in the description if you want to pick these up. It's kind of better to buy these on Amazon, in my opinion, because Petco can be a little bit overpriced. And same deal, I just got it. Pretty much I'll get over here on the screen for you guys. I just got it hole drilled on the side with some zip ties to hold the clips. And boom, we got water in there for these guys. So let's take them out, put them in here, and we will introduce you to the rat gang so i do cycle my males out my male out and put them with different ones this is one of my smaller females but yeah this is one of my smaller females she's a real pretty black and white mouse last year to actually like rub her on the head a little bit they're really sweet animals they're kind of on the big side in my opinion but they're pretty awesome little creatures to actually. But yeah, this is one of my female mice. It is a pretty much a black and white spotted one. Uh, they're pretty awesome little guys to actually keep as pets. So I actually enjoy actually keeping these guys. So it's kind of have to feed them off. But this one right here, I'm probably going to end up keeping. This is my favorite one. Then next up, we have another black and white spotted one. That's kind of bigger. That's another mama mouse. And the last but not least, we got my big male that I'm going to put back in here with them because I've been cycling him out with my other two females. So I'm pretty sure he's made his rounds with them. So, this right here is my male mouse. Well, male, this right here is my male rat. He's a little bit on the bigger side. He's a little chunkier but he's an albino, as you can tell. He's a super sweet little rat. But I'll put him down in there. And we get to see my rat run on the wheel. This one actually really likes the wheel a lot, so I like to keep, this one, keep the wheel in there with them. Um, But yeah, guys, this is pretty much it for the setup here. But I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the setup that I have going on here with my mice breeding setup and my rat breeding setup. So make sure you guys tell me down in the comments if there's anything I can improve on it, make it better for them. And we'll definitely be doing more videos with these guys in the future. So definitely stay tuned for these on the channel because I really enjoy teaching these guys little tricks and playing with them, feeding them, and taking care of them. So hopefully you guys can enjoy them just as much as I do. And I'll try to make sure to make some real good videos with these guys.